Hello, today we're going to be kicking off the series by looking at a problem from Google Code Jam. It's called reverse words and it's going to be doing some basic string manipulation. So let's read the problem. Given a list of space separated words, reverse the order of the words. Each line of text contains L letters and W words. A line will only consist of letters and space characters. There will be exactly one space character between each pair of consecutive words. So for our input, the first line of input gives the number of cases, n. n test cases follow. For each test case, there will be a line of letters and space characters indicating a list of space-separated words. Spaces will not appear at the start or end of the line. For the output, uh, for each test case, output one line containing case number x, followed by a list of words in reverse order. Next, we're given the limits of the different input values. So for the small data set, n is going to be 5, so we have 5 lines of words, and l is between 1 and 25, so each line is a maximum of 25 letters. For our large data set, n equals 100, so we have 100 lines, and l is between 1 and 1,000, so our lines are up to 1,000 characters long. Finally, we're given a sample input and output, this is very useful in just ensuring that you understand what exactly the question is asking and how you're going to be formatting your output. So now that we understand the problem, we're going to dive right in and start writing the actual code for this. Um, I'm going to be using Sublime Text to write my code in. Uh, it's my favorite text editor. It's a lot of cool features. So let's begin by setting up our class. We will call it reverse words, uh, which is the name of the problem. And we need a main method. So in our main method, as you can see, uh, Sublime Text has a lot of auto-completion features, which is really nice. Um, to get our to get the input, we're going to be using a scanner. So system.in, that just means the standard input. That's where we're going to be getting it from. In order to use this though, we need to import java.util. All right. So in the problem description, they said that the first line that we're going to be given is the number of lines. So int n lines equals scanner.nextline. There's a problem with this so far. Scanner.nextline actually returns to you a string. So it returns the next line in the form of a string. We're going to want to convert this to an integer. So we can do integer.value of. Now, so after we've parsed n lines, the number of lines, we need to iterate through these lines and read them in one by one, reversing the words and outputting them. So Let's begin by doing that. So to get the next line, we can do sc next line. Now we want to split up this line into multiple words. So one really useful function for that, let's call this words, line dot split. Simply split it. Now what are we going to split it by? We want to split it by spaces. So there we go. Now we have an array containing all of the words. So we're going to want to build. Um, we want to build a string that has all these words in reverse. So let's call it reverse line. Um, first, we'll start it off with an empty string, and we'll iterate through that array, starting from the end, because we want the words reversed. So int j equals words.length minus 1, because the rates are 0 based, while j is larger than or equal to 0, j minus minus. So we're going to be building this string, reverse line, plus equals, so we're going to be appending oh, words j. So there's one problem with this so far. Um, we're not re-adding the spaces anywhere. Because up here, when we split the line, 
We're kind of removing all of those spaces. And we're just, I mean, just holding on to the words. So we're going to need to re-add the spaces here. Okay, so that's going to be in a reverse line. And we want to output case number. And what case is this? This is case i. And we have to be careful here because they want us to start numbering our cases at 1. And right now our loop's starting at 0, so let's just change this. Let's go 1 up to and including number of lines. Okay, so case i, this should be a plus sign, colon, then space. Now we need to put our reversed line here. We need to be careful though because we only want to have one space in here. And if we look at our code, we're already getting a space here. So let's just remove that space. All right, so believe it or not, this program should already be finished. So we can save this and we'll test it out in the terminal. Okay, so let's try to compile the program. So Javac reverse words.java. Okay, we got some errors, it's fine. Um, so it says here, okay, simple mistake. Public class. Let's save that. Try again. Okay, compile's fine. So let's try to run our program now against the small input. So Java reverse words. And we're going to be feeding it a file. So I already had the two input files downloaded from Google Code Jam already. So this is the small one. Let's run it against our program. Okay, this looks pretty good. Um, let's see what the small input was. So we have five cases. Okay, this is a test. Returns test uh, is this. Looks backwards, good. The other four cases seem to match perfectly. That's good. Um, we also have a large data set. Can Run this one too if you'd like. Okay, there's a lot of text there. Um, so what we want to do though is we want to actually output this. So let's call this b small dot out. So instead of putting the output of our program onto the console, we're actually just going to be directing into a file, which we will need to upload to Google Code Jam. Okay, so that's for the small practice problem. Um, let's do this for the large one as well. Oops. Okay, I want to output that to the dash large dot. All right, so we have both of our files ready. So now we can go to Google Code Jam. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and select our output files that we generated. Now that we've gotten our files ready, uh, I'm just gonna submit them and see if the answer is right. Submitted, okay, that one was correct, good. Let's submit the bigger one. All right, they're both correct. If you don't happen to get it right the first time, that's okay, you can always go and try again. Alright, thanks for watching, and I look forward to tackling another problem with you next time.